back quickly. Aaron, it's just too late. Stand strong! Come off it. But I'm worn out. Mightn't we have a rest before prison? Huh? Was a lesson in determination. Somehow I knew you'd come. You have my gratitude as well, sir. Ulrika, glad I am to see you unharmed. You must return to the village. Everyone is concerned for you. Forgive me. I'd best go. But I shan't forget this. Thank you. Truly. We're... saved. 
I haven't the words to thank you. I doubt we would have pulled through if not for you. Let me get that. I wasn't sure we'd survive that, but here we are. My thanks for your efforts. A firm resolve has taken root in my heart since we met. I may be past my prime as a fighter, but I can still teach. And if anyone can master this technique, tis you. Go on, humor an old man. Having the arisen obtainer maester's tea. I. What can I do for you? Ah, a letter from Lady Margaret, you say? It is a fair way you've come, then. My thanks. She's a kindly sort, I must say. We met when I worked with her husband, Sir Gregor, on one occasion. Now she's taken to inquiring after my health at the turn of every season. Shall we report our results? was a welcome change. Mayhap we can employ a cart for our next journey. Ah, you've returned. How did you... F splendid! You've been an immense help, I must say. The cart reached its destination safe and sound, and from the tell of it, you even rid the road of a few monsters. <laughs> you've certainly earned a reward, my friend. Here you are. Ox guards seem a convenient choice for longer journeys. I see no harm in making use of them as needed, Master. There's no great shock to me. Yon path leads not to our destination. If you would prefer to explore, I shall guide you another time. Good tidings, friend. How have you been keeping? As for me, I made the most of my week-long sojourn. One might even say I enjoyed myself over much. You see, I grew so fond of the destination my feet carried me off to, methinks I should like to live there. And that's when I thought... Mayhap you've grown just as fond of this dwelling. Fond enough to purchase it from me? I can't just give it to you, mind. I've my relocation costs to consider, but I'd sell it to you cheap as I can afford. Well, friend, what say you? Much obliged, friend. I hope you're as pleased with our deal as I am. This little dwelling's all yours now. I suppose I'd best be off. I've my own home to get to. I hope you'll be happy here, friend. Farewell. I see. No one's coming to my rescue. Would you mind coming over here? Oh. Well met, sir. Fancy a 
As a reward for your majesty's efforts, you have been invited to attend the coronation. To it seem, congratulations are in order. You will, of course, require raiment befitting of the occasion. I would ask that your majesty return once you've procured such attire. There is much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. All shall change once we have attended the coronation. If your majesty has any unfinished business to attend to, it is best you do so before we depart. Very well. Pray inform me when your preparations are complete. Is there aught else you would speak of, your majesty? For some time now, it was said that the false sovereign was recovering from his battle wounds. But as I hear it, he is now well enough to walk unaided. And so, in honor of his supposed valor, they have been holding masquerade in the palace of late. The false sovereign's identity is still beyond our ken. Even the matter of from where he hails remains a mystery. But may up approaching the false sovereign at one of these gatherings could afford you a glimpse into the man behind the mask. What say you, your majesty? Might I ask this task of you? My thanks. Some of the sentries posted at the masquerades are under my command. I shall have them ease security. So pray, slip into the venue through whatever opening presents itself. Once your infiltration is successful, you will need only don a mask and act the part of an invitee. Few will think to be wary if they believe you a fellow masquerader. Here, this should suffice to help you blend in. Take care, your majesty. Ah, there is one other thing. Masquerades being as they are, you will require suitable raiment. Much is made of appearances at such gatherings, and twould be wisest to dress the part when joining the other revelers. It seems you must attend the palace masquerade if you're to meet the one who would falsely claim your title. Shall we make for Burnworth Palace? I dare not enter the palace, but I would fain escort you to the castle entrance. The vanguard is yours. Lead on. Just yonder looks to be a good spot for harvesting ingredients. We could pick some now and use them when the need arises. We've arrived, just as planned. Have no fear, Master. I'll fare all right without you for a little while. Tis not our place to hurry the Arisen. Station, are you not? I was bored out my skull guard in the palace. At least here I can listen to some courtly music. Makes you I find it liberating to hide my face for a time. Air the same tired faces in the same tired box. What's going on? Our first sovereign in decades. At last, we will see the end of the age of proxies. Indeed, the Arisen has always been the mainstay of Vermond. Only they are capable of repelling the dragon and guiding us toward a brighter future. Not so for the Queen Regent and her son. Fair weather rulers, the both of them. Should war e'er erupt. Silence! Might as well make merry while the wine flows. I would fain aid you if you are in need. Or to it seem, I'd 
drank such drink that I am drunk. I find dressing for these occasions... These festivities are part and parcel of our station. So, tell me more of this. Another fancy party hosted by the Arisen. Mm. Why, you're... No. Pay me no mind. We who are gathered here are naught but nameless nobles. It would be uncouth to inquire after another's identity. Well now, you're... What is it? Has something happened? Uh, we have it on good authority that a suspicious individual passed through here. We need to scale the area. Well, scale will be right. We'll In here. here. Open up! Dressed rather austerely for a patron. My humblest apologies, Lady Wilhelmina. We've had reports of an unseemly character in the vicinity, you see, and... Preposterous. I was out front till but a moment ago, and I did not see so much as a shadow. Be that as it may. You are excused. Leave this place. Ere you invite our noble host wrath upon yourself, I will summon you if aught is amiss. Pray forgive me. And what business have you here in the nobles' playground? Hmm? You've the face of someone in search of a juicy morsel. Would you be looking for this, perchance? Come on, then. Keep pouring. Do you take me for some green lad who can't handle his cups? I'm your damned king, and a king deserves royal treatment. <laughs> <laughs> of course, your majesty. Tell us, your majesty, would you prefer more drink, or shall we find some other way to amuse ourselves? <laughs> aye, aye. Let's change things up. <laughs> oh. I believe I cautioned you to keep your drunken revelry in check. Lest you forget, these celebrations of your valor are but a pretense for more serious matters. I, I know. I do. It's just I get the poison in me and things happen is all. You need only serve as our false king until Sven becomes consul. Till then, however, you would do well to remember that your role demands a certain degree of dignity. I trust you understand your position, your majesty. 
Nay, I mean I. As you say, I'll, I'll go and sober up. Why not remove yours as well? This is not the masquerade hall. And we now find ourselves quite alone. What say we dispense with such pretenses and speak openly with one another? Lord Phasus. That will do. If you're discovered, yours won't be the only head that rolls. What is your purpose here, I wonder? If you came to learn of the Sovereign, then tis as you have seen. The man is not but a ale-swilling pretender propped up by the Queen Regent. Of course, that begs the question. If he's a mere mummer, then where might our true arisen be? You'd best go. I'll do what I can to help you make your escape. Come see me in my bordelry, when e'er you're so inclined. I'll instruct my attendants to send you straight to me. Come see me in my bordelry. I'll instruct my attendants to send you... Work done gracelessly is work done poorly. What a delightful breeze. That patron's eye. What is that? Welcome, sir. As ever, we are delighted to have you. Pray, do enjoy your stay.
Looking for some company, are we? The choice of companion is yours to make. My apologies for the wait. We grew further apart than I'd anticipated. Our party is reunited. Surely we can ask for no more than that? A fine place to harvest some ingredients. I say we collect as much as we can carry. This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. Perhaps new discoveries await us above. There is much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. Well, well. He is merely Deesa's puppet then. Tis likely that he knows naught of her schemes, even were he to be removed. I suspect some other would simply be made to take his place. But if there's aught that compels my attention, tis this other man you mention. Phasus, was it? He seems a man of import, and yet I have never heard of him. Pray, allow me to investigate this matter further. You've done well, Your Majesty. Thank you. Queen Regent Deza appears to be working in concert with this Phaser's fellow, but what precisely is their aim? How very peculiar! Here we are. There is much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. While examining the palace ledger for evidence of the Queen Regent's misdeeds, I made a curious discovery. For some time now, it seems she has been diverting a veritable mountain of gold to the daily purchase of sweet crown flour. What's more, this inexpedient spending habit is recorded to have begun the very day on which Arthur, the would-be arisen, appeared on the scene. This cannot be mere happenstance. I can only conclude that these sums are passing into the hands of Arthur himself. Yet tis strange, for sweet crown flowers only grow on the eastern edge of Vermont. I dare say, t'was not an item chosen idly. Mayhap this knowledge will guide us in our pursuit of the false sovereign? Tis a frail hope to be certain. Yet all the same, I would ask that your majesty venture to Vermont's eastern edge and probe into this young man's origins. I am glad to hear it, for I cannot shake the feeling that uncovering the identity of the false sovereign is the key to unraveling Deesa's scheme and securing your enthronement. Sunshine to follow us wherever we journey. It will be worth it in the end if we return with a pack full of treasure. <laughs> I'm 
can't you buy a plane? the world I happened upon a treasure chest rather close by here perhaps I could show you the way follow me then unless you doubt my sense of direction Freshly rested as we are, this battle ought to be in our favor. Try not to get hit, lest all that boom go to waste. Let my magics grant you an elemental boom. Finally arrived. I thought we'd never make it. I'll gather this. It might be of use. As a matter of fact, curious thing, one of my former masters chose to hire only women. I wonder why. Now there's a thought. There's no debilitation a curative cannot mend. A fine place to harvest some ingredients. I say we collect as much as we can carry.
prey. Follow me. Follow along at your own pace, Master. I shan't leave you behind. You there. Are you looking to enter the village? You'd best go elsewhere, friend. What's wrong about this place? There's no business to be had here, that's for sure. That man just now seemed rather on edge. What could he have seen here to inspire such suspicion? You'd best go elsewhere, friend. What's wrong about this place? There's no business to be had here, that's for sure. What you need of me? Here to ask all of me, are you? Is that who I think it is? Aye, I reckon so. Rather more common looking than I'd expected. Aught you need of me? Aught you need of me? Yeah? What is it? Really, now. You mustn't shirk your duty. Lest you forget, tis the arisen we- Ah, you must be the visitor I've heard so much about. Have you some business here in the village? You would know of our village? As you can see, tis a simple place, tucked away on the eastern edge of Vermond. Is there all else I can help you with, sir? Arthur. It's a name unfamiliar to me, I'm afraid. At least, no one by that name lives here, sir. <laughs> As you like, sir. Have you a different destination in mind, Master? Very well. This is the inn. We've room to spare if you're looking to spend the night. Of course. Nothing's free in this world. Do stop by again. Ah, you must be the visitor I've heard so much about. Have you some business here? <laughs> As you like, sir. Hey, -o. I take it you're the outsider, my lord mentioned. How'd he know to expect you? I couldn't tell you. Why not ask him yourself? You'll find him in the manor atop the on hill. Come, I'll lead the way.
I'm not interested. Greetings. I must say I'm impressed by your intuition, sir. You found me out far sooner than most. I trust you are enjoying your sojourn in our fair village. If you have any questions, ask away. I should be glad to aid you. If aught about our humble village seems strange to you, that is easily explained. For it is here that thieves are instructed in the skills they require. To begin with, those who wander into the village are evaluated for their potential aptitude. Of course, you are no exception. That you stand here now is proof you were deemed a worthy candidate. Which is to say, you have my approval as the thief master. Is there aught else you'd care to ask? You're curious what I know of you? Quite a bit, I should think. Naturally, I'm not the only one. Our village has its own network of spies and informants, you see, and your title tends to make you stand out among the rumors we collect. You're the second arisen to come to Vermont, and you've allied yourself with Captain Brandt against the Queen Regent. In response, she's... Oops, I mustn't say another word. Don't misunderstand. I'm no ally of the Queen Regent. I merely strive to maintain neutrality in political matters. Those who deal in information must ne'er align themselves with a particular power. Such is our village code. Is there aught else you'd care to ask? Arthur, you say? Hmm. I've lived in this village many a year, but I can't say I've heard of someone by that name. My apologies. Is there aught else you'd care to ask? Aye. Take care, then. You, sir, are worthy of inheriting my ultimate technique. Once mastered, it will allow you to fell all foes, both minuscule and mighty. Take it, and do with it what you will. Is there aught else you'd care to ask? Aye. Take care, then. Is there aught else you'd care to ask? Aye. Take care, then. Oh, you've a sharp eye. Suppose I ought not to have underestimated you, Sir Arisen. You wonder how I know? For starters, it isn't just me. The entire village recognizes you for what you are, cuz. Not mysterious about it. With our sources, and that's all I'm saying. 
But don't worry yourself. I'm actually on your side, in a sense. Can't offer you any help, though. Village code and all that. Still, I suppose... I could give you a bit of advice. If I were you, I'd try doing to someone else what I was just doing to you. Know what I mean? I have a hefty wager riding on you, cuz. Don't let me down, eh? Do to someone else what I just did to you? What could she have meant by that? No one's coming to assail us. Mayhap we've scared them all off? A brief respite is naught to decry. It seems we must part ways for the time being. You made it after all. Guess that means I win. Oi, you lot best pay up. Dear me. You didn't disappoint, did you? You've done well. Seems only fair I answer any questions weighing on you. Go on. Ask away. Figures you'd want to know about him. We're supposed to be neutral. Ordinarily, I wouldn't say a word about one of our jobs. But I suppose I can tell you, the situation being what is. His real name is Dora. He was one of us, but he's been exiled. We had no choice, see? After he went off to play the false arisen, we're men and women of shadow. Center stage isn't our place to stand. That's why he was cast out. He'll near be part of our village again. That all you wanted to ask? What can I say? Not many people bother with this place. Luckily for me, you were different. 
knew I was right to bet in favor of the Arisen. Anyway, most visitors get fooled into going up to the manor. We send them packing with a trifle, and if they don't question it, good riddance. Anyone that complacent has got no business being a thief. We only train the rare few who make it here. Some might go so far as to say that the entire village was built around this spot. That all you wanted to ask? For all this, Dara was in line to become the next thief, Maester. But he failed. Took a massive injury to the chest during the trial. So the title fell to me. That's when he went off, saying he used the scar in his chest to pose as the Arisen. And what a scheme that turned out to be, eh? Now he gets to sit pretty on the best seat in the kingdom. Still, you'd have a hard time proving that he's not who he says he is. He's a wily one, that Dara. Always was careful not to leave behind a shred of evidence. But we can't have him thinking that he gets to go off and enjoy a peaceful life in the lap of luxury after breaking our code. Methinks he needs something to remind him of the debt he owes us. Here, this should do the trick. Now, as to the Maester's teaching, not sure you'll be able to use it to its fullest potential, but I'll show it to you. I can't say I have any tidings to share. You're the one, then. Fie. I'd hoped I'd not be seeing you here. Huzzah! You've my gratitude. There's a ladder here. After you were we're here, and none the worse for wear. There is much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim. Have you divined aught of the false sovereign, your majesty? This appears to be a bill calling for the arrest of a man named Dara. But hold a moment. Does this man's countenance not bear an uncanny resemblance to that of the false sovereign? Hmm. I see. If your majesty is certain that the two are one and the same, then I am convinced as well. However, I'm afraid this paper alone does not constitute sufficient proof. Ah, but of course. I surmise your majesty intends to post the bill and invite suspicion. A clever plan. The Queen Regent will be forced to deny any connection to our new sovereign, yet will be unable to remove the bill from the public eye. Furthermore, it will serve as an attestation to Dara's existence, which shall remain an undeniable truth till the man resurfaces. And all the while, the doubts lurking in the hearts of the citizenry will continue to deepen. A clever ploy indeed. I shall attend to this matter personally. I have no doubt that this bill would prove its worth in due course. You have my gratitude, Your Majesty. Your aid has been invaluable. That thief maester's a capable sort. I'd wager this will make life rather difficult for the Queen Regent. Now to report to Captain Brandt.